Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. Now we finally got Nick Valentine back in his office. She don't care that he's a, a synth, but whatever. Let's uh, have a chat with him. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. Who were the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. I'm pretty sure I was in the Super Mutants, but I'd like to hear his response. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Okay. I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Someone's about to get messed up. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah, big difference between an infant and a 10 year old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. 
In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Okay. How is no one going to freak out about him walking through the city when everyone's crazy about simps, you know? Am I about... I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be explained to me right here, otherwise if it doesn't get addressed, I am... I, I don't know. Don't make any sense though, does it? I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Okay, no one's freaking out. We didn't really pass anyone, but... Come on, then. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Won't be able to pick this. No luck? No way I could pick this. To find the key. See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Okay. The latest news from the Commonwealth. May I better cough this key up. Oh, it's Piper again. Why doesn't the mayor come out of his office, huh? He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. You ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. I tried. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Never thought a reporter. The mayor's could receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Me? I'm very successful. So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes to make time for everyone when he can. Okay. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? 
Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. I understand you have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm a mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. So that's it? You're not gonna help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. That was easy. Looking at them heart strings. What you said to the mayor. I'm so sorry to hear what Kellogg did to you. I hope you find him. Okay. Okay. Come. There we go. Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eye. The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of win the game by a squatter. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. All right, let's do this. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Have a minute? Got something on my mind. Uh, not right now. Place seems small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Sound like dodgy at all. Two beds. Check out that desk. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's one way to hide a room. I'm taking a list. Oh, of course, I'm carrying too much. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite thing. Okay, all this is great and all, but is there anything that can help me? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Did I pick up anything I don't need to carry? Probably. Drop that. Let's drop that. So if I was Kellogg. Sit in here. What would I be doing? Because there's bloody bugger all here.
Hey, Valentine. Why don't you search that table? Then we'll compare notes. There's nothing here, is the Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I don't know. I might need your help on this one, but maybe I should go on my own. If you need me, just come knocking. If not, then the next time I see you, I hope it's with your son, safe and sound. Wait, did I just lose somewhere? Bugger. That place is being attacked while I'm busy here. Yeah. be back in Diamond City. Oh. Goddamn. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. place has a kind of song listen you can hear go duck me go this is Heard you rescued valentine good work the hell out of me. oh so everyone knows he's a synth but no one seems to give a damn okay whatever I mean, it never made much sense because the second you, the second you get, you know, to the city, people are killing their own family, thinking they're simps, and they're not. So I don't know. It's weird. Right, go on, boy. I got stuff I do need to dump off, but it's gonna have to wait. I guess we're hot on Kellogg's trail, eh? San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy, let's track him. Hey, we're finally on a roll.
I might have to lower my kit a little bit of all the items I'm carrying around. Come on, dog. All right. Better be careful. Okay, you okay? She's fine. We better rest up here though since she's clearly having withdrawals or something. And I need to find the dog, I don't know where he's just buggered off to. There he is. I gotta be careful of those folks. Alright. Well till next time.